Hello, welcome to this introductory video to Manta Network. Manta is a very strong layer 2 project. It doesn't have a lot of hype, but it has the potential of paying out good money in rewards to their early community members. They have a number of products such as Manta Pay, Calamari Staking products, their certificate issuing platform, among others. Their community engagement activities are conducted majorly on Balazi. They have done a few of them, which we didn't participate, but I have checked and I noticed that we are still able to join the current quest and meet up. There were two whitelist activity. Luckily for our community members, we were able to catch this one. If you have been a member of our community on Telegram, you would remember I dropped this post asking our community members to go and register for this uh, white lists while I work on Manta. But even if you missed out, you can still interact on Manta ecosystem and get something. As an overview, Manta network would involve doing the quest, their current Manta fest, joining their Discord if you have not joined. Manta has a mem bridge, a native bridge, which you should do later if money is a problem. I will not be covering it in this video, but it's just the same as every other bridge. It took about $10 worth of it the time I did the bridge. This video is for people who have small money, right? I just want to show how you can get your feet wet on Manta Network, there will be more opportunity for you to get interaction, especially using their main bridge. They also have this Zilli Quest, which they don't emphasize so much on. But if when you go to the Zilli Quest, you will see that some of the things you will be doing from this tutorial, you will be able to claim points for them. These ones I will cover in future video. But if you can, go ahead and do it. Having said that, let's go to the current Manta Fest titled Manta Takeover. There are 10 tasks to be done here. From the description of the quest, they explain the benefit of participating in this task and the different categories. That gave me the idea that it makes sense to attempt this quest. According to the des description, if you are able to get up to 3 OAT, because there are OATs for every task, there are 10 of these tasks, if you're able to get up to three OATs, you will be getting a special Discord OG badges or whatever they, they call it. If you are able to add three more to get up to six OATs, you will be included in a special raffle draw. If you are able to do all the tasks, you will also be included in a further legendary treasure boss ticket or whatever they call it. We will not be able to cover all the quests either because of unreasonable fees involved or because of not being able to verify that quest even after you have spent those fees. And that is why in this tutorial, I will be focusing on showing the three quests you can do with just $4 gas fee, $4 to $5 gas fee to claim 3080. Then if you want to go further, then I will also show other three to make it six for those who have more money. I will just give instructions on what to do. I will skip the things you already know, like how to bridge, swap, you know those things, while highlighting more on things that require special attention. It makes sense for task number one to be bridging. And this bridging is to be done on obita.finance, not on their native bridge. That way, you are not going to use Ethereum mainnet. So go to obita.finance, bridge some it from any network over to Manta network. You already know how to do this. Once you are done with your bridging, tick this so that you will claim your points. You could claim it immediately or claim it after you finish the quests. In the second task with 100 points and 180, you could do any of the two. Choose the easy one which is on-chain swap, the first one, go to Dodo Swap, connect your wallet, select Manta Network, choose your wallet, make sure it's on Manta Network, no specific amount to swap, so you could swap a dollar 
over to USDC or any amount you wish to. Let's proceed with the third task for third OAT means at least one free tracker pass. So let's do that. Select Manta, connect your wallet. Make sure you switch back to Manta in case it switches back to Arbitrum after you have connected the wallet. Then follow the steps, the three steps, sign the transaction. Mint now. Our mint is done. Notice that this will remain like this. It's distracting. But once you have done the mint and paid the fee, I paid 80 cents. You can go back and check. So let's verify this. You can see it's done. So let's do the next task. This is a minting and bridging platform that uses layer zero technology. If you are hunting for layer zero, you could bridge too, but I'm not interested in layer zero now. So I'll just connect my wallet and mint. I'll click on mint. Again, I'm paying around 90 cents. Minting is done. If you still want to get interaction on layer zero, you could select any destination network and click on bridge. But I will leave it at that. So let me go back and click. With this, you have done a good job. You have gotten three OATs qualified for the Discord, whatever role they promised, and you have saved some gas fee. You have also gotten your feet wet on. Manta, you could go ahead and claim your OATs and stop here. But if you have some more money and you want to make this six OATs, then let's continue. I will just show you what to do and highlight some important ones. This one, just avoid it unless you have like $10 to waste on gas fee doing this task. The gas I paid on this was not just fireable. So you may skip this one. Quick swap task should be your fault or one of your OATs. You make a swap there, you provide liquidity because your liquidity will be locked for three days. I would recommend you do it last. After you have finished other quests, I will be showing then come and do it. But it's definitely one of the easier tasks to be done. Let's do this one. This should be your fifth OAT. Let's head over to pump.m, pump.money, which is Manta's certificate platform. Here, you are required to mint three on chain activity certificates. Unfortunately, these certificates they are not always available. What we have now, we have two, this one popping up. Izumi Finance, you provide liquidity. You come here, you will mint, you will mint. If I click on enter now, you are not eligible. If you want to become eligible, eligible, you click on it, go to Izumi Finance, provide liquidity. You guys already know how to provide liquidity. You're supposed to be an expert on this. We have done it a lot of times. So you provide liquidity. Just one one dollar fifty fifty cents each USD. You once you come back here, you will see you are eligible. You are going to mint this, right? That's the first one you are going to mint. The second one you are going to mint. Just wait here. You will see the second one that is on now. This one, the same thing. If you click on enter, they will tell you you are not eligible. How do you become eligible? Provide liquidity on that platform. One dollar. $2.50, whatever you can provide, provide that liquidity. You will come back, you will see, you will become eligible. You will mint that certificate. These things are free. You only pay tiny gas fee. The third certificate you can mint now is this one, Certificate of Asset Balance. If you click on Enter here, select your network, in this case, Manta, 
you will see that my wallet here is not eligible because you will need you will need an asset balance larger than 0 0.02 each. My balance has 0 0.0147. So what you can do, increase your each balance and then you mint this certificate. It is free. You are not paying any money for all these certificates, right? So you, you, you mint it. Once it completes three, you can come back here and, and then mint this. And that will give you your fifth OAT. Let's look at the sixth. This would have been an excellent one to give you your sixth, but but currently it looks like as much task is like a waste of time downloading all that app, doing all those stuff. You are not getting verified. Go to Discord. People are fighting. Days they are not verified. So it's so I will be skipping it. Maybe if it makes sense in the future, we will look into it. But you could do go ahead and do it on your own if you have time. This one is leverage trading. I didn't try this, right? Because it looks like the other one that took $10 or more than $10 gas fee from me. But if you want to try it, if you have the funds, why not? Uh, you have to make two threads and then you provide liquidity. Leave it for three days. I am not including it in my list of SIS-OATs task. The next one, just skip this one. If you go to this call, people are fighting. Some people say they spent $100 just because of 10 points. They didn't even get verified. <laughs> so just keep it right. This is the one I would use to complete my SIS OAT. This one involves threading, making a swap. After you have done that swap, you provide a liquidity of 10 USD. Okay, once you provide that liquidity, remove your liquidity, come and claim. Then use your money and head over to this one and put your liquidity here for three days. Once you put your liquidity here, you come and claim. After three days, you can come and remove your liquidity. With that, you would have gotten up to six OATs in the Manta Fest titled Manta Takeover. And that's just that for this introductory tutorial on Manta. I will be bringing you further updates on what next to do to continue to position yourself very well for Manta Airdrop. In order not to miss out, you want to be a subscriber to 100k Crypto YouTube channel. Also, you want to be in our Telegram community where you can interact with me and other members of the community in real time. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.